What's up guys, welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. Big news today coming from Foresight Sports with the GC3 along with the Bushnell Launch Pro. I'm gonna go over some important stuff in this video. Make sure you stay tuned the whole time. I'm even gonna talk about some potential beta testing that you can do. Uh, so hang tight, we're gonna have all kinds of stuff to go over, but this news is huge. I had a ton of people start to email me as this was kind of hitting around the internet. And you know, a lot of people suggesting, can you just please do a video breaking everything down? Down. I've even had contact directly with the PR representatives from Foresight Sports. That way I could get some specific questions you know, answered and make sure they were correct. So let's dive right in covering this big news, everything you should know regarding these changes with the Foresight Sports GC3 and Bushnell Launch Pro. So let's just start off with Launch Pro because I do want to talk about kind of what their goal was with this unit. This goal was to get the unit in the hands of more consumers, a lower price entry point. That way someone could get themselves a launch monitor. And let me tell you, these changes are really going to enable a lot of people. So you are going to see a new low starting price on the Bushnell Launch Pro of only $19.99. Let me explain how this is gonna work. This is a ball enabled only unit. So ball data only, and you're essentially only gonna be able to use the on-screen data. So that built-in screen on the Bushnell Launch Pro. And I should mention, if you're watching this video for the first time and you're just now exploring launch monitors, make sure you check out all my previous coverage on the GC3 and Bushnell Launch Pro, and you can learn all about them, all right? So three camera launch monitor, portable, uh, built-in screen, you're gonna have all of that data on the screen for only $19.99. Now, who, who might want this? Well, think about it. If you're someone who primarily just practices out on the range, let's say, or maybe you just have a net at your house, you're not looking to build a whole simulator, this would be great. I mean, you can be hitting drivers, getting spin numbers, because it does include ball speed, carry, spin, launch angle, and does even have the barometer enabled for that ball data only unit. So very powerful device, very accurate data coming in at only two grand. All right, so it really does enable a lot of people to kind of get that entry point into this marketplace uh, on a great unit at that. So let's now talk about what exactly you're going to get outside of that. Now, when you do purchase the $2,000 unit, you do get a 14-day trial. That does include FSX Play, the brand new software from Foresight Sports, FSX 2020. It does give you third-party software integration. I'm gonna talk some more about some exciting uh, third-party software stuff coming up here in just a second. Um, and then from that point, it's $4.99 a year. You can subscribe from that $2,000 pricing model. So for $4.99 a year, you're going to uh, get all your FSX Play, FSX 2020, um, you know, FSX uh, apps that you're gonna get. Um, so you, you can do that from this price point. So you might end up buying it not wanting the subscription and later on doing that, you can do that. Now, one thing that is very important that a few people asked about, and I wanted to make sure I got you the correct answer here. So club data. All right, if you want to add that on, the first 14 days, you're going to be able to add that on to the Bushnell Launch Pro for $14.99. That's going to enable club data on the unit. And if it's outside of that 14 day window, it does go up to $17.49. So $17.49 after that 14 day trial window. Um, talking about unlocked, a lot of people asked about this. Uh, unlocking a Bushnell Launch Pro for no subscription, that is gone. All right, they really, I think, want to separate these units to stand apart. The Bushnell Launch Pro is enabling people to get into the marketplace at a different pricing model, and the minute that they had the unlocked version, it kind of can became confusing. What is the difference? I mean, I can't tell you how many emails I get people thinking that the hardware is different between Bushnell Launch Pro and GC3, um, and that's not the case. So this kind of separates them now, all right? So now let's just go on to the GC3 pricing model really quick, break that down for you. And then outside of that, we'll talk about some really exciting stuff from Foresight that I think you guys are gonna to wanna to hear about. So the GC3 ball enabled version, all right? So essentially this is that Bushnell Launch Pro ball enabled version, but on the GC3 side of things, it essentially now is a non-subscription model. So for $5,999, all right, that's that ball enabled model, uh, FSX Play, 2020 and now an upgrade to 25 courses all right so additional courses you're going to get are all included and i should mention with that subscription model bushnell launch pro you get the additional courses as well and i'll touch on a few other things that are included with a subscription here in just a second but you get that fsx performance ios app i've shown in the channel now you're going to get an awesome golf lifetime license so whether you're subscribing 
or you're going to get this GC3, you know, unlocked essentially, if you want to call it that, uh, ball only version. You now have an awesome golf license. And if you haven't seen awesome golf, make sure you check out my coverage on the channel. I'll do some specific GC3 awesome golf coverage as well. I'm sure a lot of people want to see that. I already had questions coming out on awesome golf. Um, and then third party integration is now available you know, at either the subscribe level or, like I said, this, this GC3 uh, 5999 model. Um, now, that does include integration now with GS Pro. I uh, can't tell you how many people have asked about GS, uh, GS Pro, looking for a official integration with GS Pro. Uh, some people, you know, were using alternative methods to try to connect the software, um, you know, with their GC3 or Bushnell Launch Pro. It's an official integration now. And, you know, Foresight Sports has come out and said, if you are not using this connection, it is breaking their user terms and agreement. Uh, you might want to read through that. It sounds like they are going to enforce that if necessary. I don't know exactly what that means, but, uh, you know, this is legal stuff. I'm not your attorney. I'm not giving you any legal advice. I'm just saying you might want to read your, uh, you know, terms and agreement that you basically signed when you purchased the unit. So, um, you know, you do it the right way. You buy this bundle, you're going to get all that integration. Now that also includes fairground games. If you haven't seen Foresight Fairgrounds, check that out. There's some fun games you can play with the family, kids, uh, or friends alike. Um, and then also that FSX Performance app. I've shown that as well. Um, that's actually a really, really great app. If you haven't seen that, that's kind of their early on version of what is FSX Pro now, which is also a, an app that's included. Now, if you want the club data version of this GC3, that's $7,500, $7,499. Um, and that is going to be your ball and club data, including everything I've listed. All right. So those additional courses now, it's really cool. I think I even saw Detroit Golf Club in there uh, in that list, which is pretty cool stuff. So make sure you check out that list. Um, and then let's really talk about just a couple updates and some exciting beta stuff that is also coming from Foresight Sports that I'm sure everybody's going to want to hear about. So FSX Play update. So they have done another update. If you haven't updated it, make sure you check it out. They now have a sim drop and unplayable drop available. I know a lot of people asked about this when you're in a really tough situation and you need to drop the ball to get out of it that's now available dual screen mode all right so if you have multiple monitors and you're trying to do pop out windows like you were with fsx 2020 uh, you can now do that with fsx play so really cool that they now are, are enabling that and then they also have more development uh, that they've released for the auto update function so they're trying to get everything in one place make it easy for you guys to do updates now here's that big news i was talking about how many people have asked for a peer-to-peer -peer playing solution on FSX Play? Well, I can tell you personally, uh, hundreds have emailed me about it, asking when is this coming, is this coming? Well, I can uh, officially share with you that it is coming. And it's essentially here, but it's going to be released in a beta format. So it's gonna allow up to seven players to play a stroke uh, play format. I can't release really any other details other than that, except if you're looking to be a beta tester on the software, you need to go to the FSX Play update page and there's going to be a link there. I don't know if it's quite live at the time that I'm showing this video, um, but it's gonna be live real soon and that's going to allow you to sign up all right, to basically apply to be a beta tester for this peer-to-peer -peer software. Uh, I think it's very smart doing this. It's gonna allow them to get feedback from users, find any issues, connecting various users across the country or globe, whatever it may be. Um, you know, and this is a really a great way for them to get that feedback directly from users to see if there's any issues ask for ideas and further develop that so they can release it to the general public. So really cool stuff. I want you guys to make sure and comment below any questions that you have, thoughts, thoughts you have, share them with me. I'd love to, uh, you know, see what you guys think about these new pricing models and where things are going. Um, and as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned. There'll be a lot more coming soon.